I'm Scott Cannon from the Gas Drilling Awareness Coalition. I came across a video on YouTube where a group of citizens from Franklin Township were complaining about a sharp rise in methane in their water wells. Um, we're here because we're having problems with our water in Franklin Forks. Um, our well is erupting. Erupting? With them. Erupting? Mm -hmm. I have a video. <laughs> <laughs> this is what is on the video camera. Many other residents had problems as well. Uh, we're still getting a black in the water and no water. A lot of methane in the house now. It's getting worse. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of problems there, and nobody seems to want to take responsibility for it. Water in about April, May, May it started getting cloudy. That's when we I think we actually had the test done. Uh, the black stuff that's coming out of the water, I've been having that since April, May, June. What really got my attention was when you couldn't take a shower because it plugged up everything. Uh, I guess one day it came a whole bunch of it at once, I guess, I'm assuming. But it clogged up the, all the uh, bathroom fixtures, so nothing was coming out, it was like trickling. But if somebody causes a problem, I think they should fix it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. How do you fix that, though? You can't. Kennedy Williams would be responsible. They can't fix it. So I think yeah, I the way option you, now how is you to stop get, it all. How are you going to get barium out? You can't. You, you, can. you can't. It's you a can't. heavy so metal. So I think maybe all the drilling needs to stop until they figure out how to do it correctly. But if people took the time to look at the historic levels of, of, of naturally occurring substances in this area, they would know that the levels that these people are speaking about today are not in the norm. They are not ambient conditions within the aquifer. Last Friday, the 24th, I got a call from the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, who I had called to go up on my property. When Laser installed the pipeline up there, they had they caused some pretty severe damage. Um, the EP was up there four times and told me there was absolutely nothing wrong. Nothing had been done. It was obvious you could see it, but I'm not an expert. I got the fish and boat to come, and they're very strapped, so it took them about three weeks to come and see me. Um, they called me last Friday and said that they had just finished collecting fines from Laser. Uh, they, gave, they, they put five criminal charges against them. These aren't civil. Criminal. Okay. I'm not beating up on Laser. I'm just telling you the response. DEP was zero response. They refused to admit there was anything wrong on the property. Because the state agency has settled with the company, I asked them if they could check my creek because there's still a lot of drilling mud in it. I'm, I'm right there at Laurel Creek where they had the blowout eight times in my, back, in my backyard starting July 29th. Um, that means that he said, no, we cannot do anything regarding any of the areas where we just find them and charge them. But he said the DEP has done the same thing. They're charging, they're fining them, and they're collecting money. I said, that's interesting. How are they doing that when they said there was nothing wrong on my property four times in a row? I decided to seek out these people and get their story firsthand. Franklin Township is a typical Pennsylvania rural community with rolling hills, lush forests, and farmlands. More recently, it is home to gas drilling rigs, like this one, the Hollenbeck site. There are several wells on this pad, built right next to several small houses. The house, there's a house across the road and on either side of this, but I'll show you the house across the road. 
This goes 24-7, the flaring for days. Directly across the street is pipeline construction to carry the well's gas to market. Also popping up in the area will be compression stations to pump the gas through the pipeline and dehydration stations to remove water and chemicals from the gas. It started on December 6th. Well, our problem is a lot of, a, a lot of methane in the well and a lot of barium, a lot of magnesium. What else was high? Aluminum. Arsenic, all of the metals were Total high. Total dissolved solids. We have extremely high uh, methane levels at the well, enough that the well you know, these spews, erupts, it, blows, it builds up so much gas, pushes the water all over the place. Comes out and just erupts and hisses and, and then the fumes come out. The, how close is the nearest well to you? 4,000 feet. 4,000 right? feet. That would be the Holland Beck well, which is right up here over our shoulders. And then there's another one, the DP wells over here. And there's seven up within there's three, a lot three of miles. Them. Probably seven within two miles, put it that way. First person I contacted was Franklin Township. Yeah. They gave me the number for Williams, which is the gas company that's drilling here. Um, and I contacted them. They sent the DEP and another organization out to test. The DEP came and tested water. Um, the other organization that came out was Resources Environmental. They tested our air quality. Um, and the DEP has been out a couple times since. We got our water tests back. Uh, they were out last week to retest the water. And they're coming back this week to do some more tests and monitor our well because our well, um, the gas jumped 30% 30 since December. So it's it's a problem. <coughs> what did the uh, what did the DEP tell you so far about what they what they found? They gave us our test results. All of our well, a lot of our metals and stuff are high. The methane's high. They told us. Um, it's still under. Everything's still under investigation. It's, yeah, it's all really still under investigation. Um, They've got a pretty good idea what's going on, and we're not really supposed to say is until the investigation comes. To yeah, that we end. have to so wait until to be careful everything's everything's um, through being investigated. The other organi organization that they sent out to test our air quality um, told us we can't use our propane stove because of the methane coming in from the faucet. They told us that we cannot use um, the shower without ventilating the bathroom. We have to leave the bathroom door open, the window open, the fan going. Since the gas drilling started with the trucks and the traffic and the road conditions, what, what's it like, what was it like and then what is it like now? Well, Pennsylvania's roads have never been great, but they definitely got worse in the truck traffic. It's 50% truck traffic all, all day, all night. It's more than 50%. Well, it's slowed down a lot in the last couple weeks, but when they were going hard at fracking these wells around us, it, it was, was truck crazy. after truck after truck it was after non truck. They'd turn this way, they'd turn that way, they'd come turn to this groups way. Of 20. There's been accidents. There was an accident down the road that he was the second vehicle behind where a water truck rolled on top of another vehicle. Crushed another car. Crushed the driver, killed him. We now know it's a Susquehanna County man who was killed last night when a truck hauling materials for natural gas drilling overturned on his car. Yeah, it's all coming from the water here where it's, where it's building up. And it comes just, it's just white with bubbles. And you don't want to put a lighter to that right now, you're going to get a flame. This is what you're gonna ruin. I mean, you're gonna ruin.
ruin it, you're gonna ruin the whole state eventually because it's already been too many problems now and, and, the, and you look at the history of the gas drilling in Wyoming and play, every place else they've been, they've caused destruction no matter where they go, so. You gotta look at the facts, I guess, you know. They say if it can be done safely, you know, but I don't think it can be done if safely. It, if it could be, it'd be Our great Our well for the is, is crying out to us to help it, you know. It's like Earth is, is just vomiting in our yard because it's just been injected with so much bad stuff. It's sad. We didn't have any problems and neither did anybody else in this area until right about the same day, so. I know one, two, three, four, right in maybe a Pretty mile close. stretch at least. And there's, been, there's problems that have been reported all the way five miles either direction from here, so. <clears throat> Some people haven't said anything yet, so I'm waiting to see what happens here with this. And there's probably some people that are afraid to say anything. Probably some people don't know they have problems. You can't see barium in your water. You can't see all of the heavy metals in your water. The methane. We just are blessed but... because we have it right in our face that we, you know, we're able to spot the problem because. We didn't know what was going on. We had a couple of floods last year and all of a sudden our water was gray and we thought, oh, this is all just from the flood. And then all of a sudden our well is just blowing out and that's not from the flood. It's not just water. It's gas behind it pushing it. Do you believe in clean water, fresh air, safe roads, and the natural beauty of our region? Learn about the unwanted effects of gas drilling. Visit gdacoalition.org.